Coach Osborne, you guys have a great club here. I mean, you told me there's over 100 kids in your club. That that is that's that's excellent. You know, like having a large club, obviously it lends itself to the college team then. But tell me about your club here at Buffalo. Okay, well, yeah, we're very excited. Um, we kind of combined some existing clubs that, that were here and, and really brought that brought them under one roof. Um, everybody's here training in our room, um, and you know it's exciting too. It's it, I, I you know I get into the club and coach the club a couple times a week. Um, it's exciting. It, it's a different level of wrestling. It kind of makes you think about things a little differently. I think it helps me as a college coach to coach some of the young, younger club kids. Um, you got to kind of think through technique in a different way because they don't have a, um, the base for it yet. You know, you're, you're really kind of teaching something to somebody that they, they don't really have a great base for necessarily. So um, it just makes you think through your technique a little bit more. But definitely excited about it. It's, it's a resource for us here. Um, it, it, you know, it's, it's, it's something that's good for the community, obviously. It's good for these kids. You know, it wasn't really something that was out there for me when I was in high school that the club scene has really changed. But it's definitely a resource for our program, and I think if you look at successful programs, almost everyone has a great club, you know, and then it goes up to the higher levels. You know, they're training senior-level athletes out of their club, and that's, that's kind of the direction we're going here. Um, we're going to have um, athletes in here training um, to be senior-level athletes, hopefully to make um, Olympic and world teams. Oh, and that just gives us more options, you know. You, you go to Ohio State, you know. I mean, think of the people that are in that club, training with those college guys um, at, at different points of the year, you know, in the off season stuff like that. So, the resources that are generated with the youth club lend themselves um, to um, the development of, you know, our college athletes, and, and you know, help us um, bring in volunteer coaches, things like that. So it's it's very important and it's it's very exciting. It's 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 already off the ground and running. Um, we will continue to develop that, and um, at the same time, hopefully, um, the, the club um, helps get our name out there as well. It's Buffalo Wrestling Club. Um, there, there's some very good um, wrestlers on it already. I think there's some kids that are going to go on the Super 32 and do some big things. So um, they're also promoting Buffalo Wrestling, which is which is important. So you know, there's some excitement with with that aspect of it too. There's there's some really talented kids that are coming into club and, and training hard. How do you approach, you know, you said you combined clubs. How do you approach the other clubs? Hey, let's let's make a mega club. How do you do that, and who did you combine with? Um, well, there was Super 6, and that was actually running out of here. It was called Super 6. That's the um, regional, or I think there are regionals here. I forget, forget the different states' terminology. but um, Section. Section. Section, here. section 6. Um, so that's why that's why that was called Super 6, and that was, that was run out of here primarily. Um, and then the other one that we combined with was Cobra Wrestling Academy, um, and that's an academy that's um, in a private gym. Um, and just, you know, it was something that, you know, I think people are really on board with what we, what we want to do here more than anything. I think people are excited about um, the new era of, of Buffalo Wrestling, um, and, you know, people are willing to kind of do what it takes to help us have the resources to succeed. And I, I think it's it was the best thing, you know, kind of having two different clubs training when you can kind of com combine and make a mega club, um, get college coaches in there on a regular basis. Me and Bryce Hosman are, are in there on a regular basis coaching the club. It's just, uh, I think it's a win-win for everybody, and, and, and everybody could see that. So everybody jumped on board pretty quickly with um, helping us get that underway. I don't know if any room in the country can house 100 kids comfortably. Do you ever have 100 kids show up or do you split it? How do you work that when you have such huge numbers and such a large club? How do you manage that? Uh, you got to get creative, especially when live wrestling comes. You know, you got to get creative, three-man three man groups, things like that. But um, I think we manage it. You know, it gets a little tight in there and drilling and stuff like that. Um, and on a given night, I don't know that our numbers are always stated. Those are the kids that are signed up, you know. Um, it's always different, but we don't really do it. The youth club does train differently on Sundays, the, the younger kids, so I guess maybe our final number of what's in the room uh, on those nights maybe isn't 100 because the, the younger, the youth kids aren't in there training at the same time. Um, but, you know, just being smart about it, sometimes you move the lower weights and you have them doing some sort of calisthenics in, in, uh, off to the side or something, or you, and then you have the, the heavier weights out there wrestling live. You know, and then you kind of switch them, make sure they're doing some pull-ups, whatever it is. 
and then kind of switch them all, let them get their breaks in that way, and then or, or you do kind of three three person groups and, and kind of rotate them in, and make sure that you know you do give plenty of space. But I think once we do once that that's going, I, I think for live we haven't had any any real issues, um, but. Maybe in the future, if we continue to gain numbers, we're going to have to use the auxiliary gym here, which once again is nice because we have the, the resources here at, at uh, UB. We don't just have our main gym. We have that auxiliary gym down the hallway here. So um, if, if it goes that route, well, we'll definitely be rolling out some extra mats and, and keep letting as many kids um, that want to come out and train come, come to Buffalo Wrestling Club and train.